So this is the parts list video for the Gaiman basic LED display. So essentially you get uh, everything as in the Thomas kit, but the the laser cut template is a different size and you get different program on the microcontroller here. So you get four matrix driver boards, you get one control board, and you get one power board. You also get one voltage regulator with heatsink. And of course you get a uh, laser cut template for the to hold the LEDs. So this measures three and a half by uh, nine inches. So this is all that comes with the kit. You don't get anything else. This is all you get. So you will have to buy extra parts to complete this kit. You'll need two 16 megahertz crystals. You'll need three 22 picofarad capacitors. These could be either 10 volt, 16 volt, 25 volt, or 50 volt. It doesn't matter, as long as they are 22 picofarads. You'll need eight of these 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitors. Again, these are uh, these can be either 10, 16, 25, or 50 volts. It doesn't matter as long as they're 0.1 microfarad. So you'll need eight of these. You also need eight of these 10 microfarad capacitors. These are electrolytics. You could either get 10 volt, 16 volt, 25 volt, or 50 volt capacitors. It doesn't matter. You'll need six 1K ohm resistors. These are quarter watt here, but you could either get quarter watt, one eighth of a watt, or if you really want to, one half of a watt. It doesn't matter which ones you get. Uh, I suggest you get a uh, quarter watt or one eighth of a watt, or whichever one's cheapest. Um, the only upside to getting one eighth of a watt is that these resistors are just tight, a little bit smaller. So, yeah. You'll need six 27 K ohm resistors, or you could get six 30 K ohm resistors. It doesn't really matter. Again, these could be quarter watt, one eighth of a watt, or half of a watt. You'll need somewhere around four meters of this 50 conductor 28 gauge flat cable. I don't know the exact number, but you will need four meters, and that should be long enough. You'll need around 300 five millimeter yellow diffused LEDs. I would recommend you get the diffused type because. Um, they just look a lot nicer than if you get the non-diffused so you need roughly 300 of these you will need three six millimeter by six millimeter push buttons they look like this and you'll need three of them you'll need five of these max 7219 integrated circuits they look like this and you can probably see the max 72 one nine right there. You'll also need a four pin female header. You'll need one 3.3 volt logic converter. It looks like this. And here's what the back looks like. And it comes with uh, two four pin headers. And you also need these. These can be found on eBay for four or five dollars. But make sure you get this one because it's goes exactly right here on the power supply on the power board so yeah you'll need a 4 AA battery pack with switch you will need one UART Bluetooth module looks like this uh, there are two versions of this uh, Bluetooth module uh, get the one that looks like this there's another version where uh, it says something different um, also post exactly what this thing is called uh, somewhere around here so yeah make sure you get the right one of these because if you get the wrong one it'll still work but you will have to sync your phone every time you want to power on the display it's a little bit trickier but it still works but why would you want to go through the hassle so just go ahead and get one of these types of modules you'll need a soldering iron wire cutters, 
a hot glue gun, solder, some hot glue sticks for the hot glue gun, and some electrical tape. And that is all the parts you require to complete the Guy Man LED display.